Well, a new report out by the folks at Royal LePage highlighting how our country's new mortgage stress test is making it ever harder for millennials to actually buy homes. For more, we've got Tom Story joining us. He is a Royal LePage agent coming to us from our studios in downtown Toronto. So what's going on here, Tom? Very pleased to be joined by Tom Story with Royal LePage. Happy New Year, Tom. Thank you, you too. To tell us more, we have real estate expert Tom Story, a Royal LePage agent, joining us from our downtown studio in Toronto. Thanks for your time, Tom. Well, thanks so much for having me on. Get in with that condominium type property and work your way up the property ladder because at least you have equity in something. Because when these new changes come in, like the stress tests and the rate hikes, it has the biggest impact on these first time buyers. One thing I would look at is if you currently own a property and you have a variable mortgage rate and you're at the top end of what you can afford on a monthly basis, I would look and see if right now is an opportunity to lock into a fixed rate if you can, just in case rates do go up again because it's, it's looking like that could happen. Well, if you look at increase the value of your home before you put it on the market, Royal LePage has just completed a survey of agents to find out what's going to give you the biggest bang for your buck. Here to tell us all about that is Tom Story from Royal LePage. Tom, good to have you in this afternoon. Thank you so much for having me. If you only had one area of the house to renovate, mm -hmm. right now it would be the kitchen. The overall return investment possible from that could actually increase your total value, if done correctly, by almost 12%. And even though on a day like today it would be great to be outside near a pool, we have to remember we do live in Canada and it's a high maintenance cost to keep that and a lot of potential buyers actually look at the pool as it's going to decrease the value of the property. So are you saying then, would, would perhaps some advice to a homeowner be, look, if you own a house with a pool, don't list it until July when it's hot and people can think, boy, this would be a, a good thing right now? Exactly. Have a pool party open house. It'll be a lot of fun. I'm not surprised. I think the housing bubble narrative is one that we've heard in the past and one that we will continue to hear in the future. And you know, the fact is, is that anyone saying there's a bubble, they're never wrong until it happens and then they're right. If I'm a homeowner in Toronto or Vancouver, I wouldn't be overly concerned though. I started really taking serious social media and videos because attention is the new currency. So the people that I work with, they're on these platforms all day long. We're excited about this new listing. We cannot wait to show it to you. Let's go take a look.